Um, gosh, I'm trying to work that was. Sorry, um, Noah. I meant Noah. Sorry. No, uh, no yes, no. Where I think Noah came into it was that that uh, he kind of led the survival of after this huge you know, flood, you know, the, the Jonas Boer uh, disaster that happened when, the, when we're assuming there's a meteorite strike with it. It could have just been natural earthquake flooding and whatever that happened. It doesn't really, well, really matter. Well, there's a massive, massive disruption back about 10,000 years ago. And uh, and there's books and about it that really perfectly explain what happened. But I think some of the survivors of this uh, ET-led civilization was probably Noah. And there were, if you look back at, uh, at, uh, at some of the writings, they say that these people actually lived quite a long time, longer than our lifespan. And also they're much taller. And there's all sorts of other things that went on. But anyway, so Noah was in fact one of the survivors, and so he basically knew that all this information was in was in stored in the in the pyramid. Now this information obviously was the ET, the ET knowledge that they had, mathematical knowledge, all sorts of knowledge, which uh, which was was basically stored in the pyramid. And I think a lot of people at the time did come uh, to look at. Uh, uh, to, to, to pick up information from from from, the, from Egypt, but I think a lot of it had actually mysteriously disappeared. And I think the reason it disappeared was that Noah and maybe a group thought for the benefit of, of what the survival of mankind that they needed to control it, and so therefore they hid, hid this or kept this knowledge safe somewhere else, away from the general public or the general population, so that uh, so that they kind of knew what was going to maybe happen now because as we are moving through each generation we're just uncovering covering knowledge from their really their history so they, they they're really we're just uncovering their knowledge if you like but we're just doing it uh, slowly over each generation through a process of genius so a lot of the, the, the information is long gone or been stolen or whatever you can't actually you know you can't actually take the information out of the, the memory of, uh, of 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 each generation that's, that's coming through, and it and it didn't stay in the top ranks because obviously as we've moved forward, if you see it with monarchs through the centuries, they still they have children with like well they say that about Leonardo da Vinci, they think his his mother was the a daughter of one of the popes of a pope, and his father was like a, a woodcutter, so his gene was his, he's getting a very a gene from a very high, high source, if you like, and a high, higher, as I mentioned, it's about tattoos or different levels, and there are obviously people at the very top, but it's all got this all over the centuries, but all mixed up, and we're all kind of a mixture of uh, really high quality memory information. Oh, I think yeah. intelligence really is, is the ease in which some, the ease in which you can access some of this knowledge. I think so. Well, the isn't a, isn't a boat, it's a building. Yes, that's what they're busy saying now, the, the, the ark. So the idea of, of again, it should be brainwashed, the idea that animals were, were, came in two by two and you're saving these animals. It doesn't make sense really, when you think about it. You'd want to save your knowledge, your information. So what happened with us, if we were going to see something, just trying to repeat the thing, something disastrous were going to happen, you'd try and, and save information, how to group crops, just the basic things, how to, you know, know different, you know, your language, your all sorts of things, culture, you try to save all this stuff, not animals really. And so there the, the, the wasn't a, an ark. Ark was mistranslated into being a boat when it should have been busily uh, suggesting. Again, speculation on my part, but this is what I've heard. Uh, it, was by, it was likely to be an appointed structure, which was mentioned, and then you could I jumped to the conclusion, pointed structure, what does that mean? Well, a pyramid. And when you look at these pyramids, they've all got chambers inside. And the Great Pyramid, which is interesting, I was actually down in the subterranean chamber. So beneath the base of the pyramid, there was a, um, a well, and there's channels going down there that um, obviously water had been flowing underneath there when water did flow back in 10,000, 12,000 years ago. Uh, 